today uh, we are going to see how you can install a race dynamics quick shifter on a KDM Duke 390 2017. So on my left you have the uh, the race dynamics quick shifter, the washer and the nut that holds the quick shifter to the stock gear lever. And very simple tools here, we are using the uh, 10 size ring spanner, a cutting player and a couple of zip ties just to ensure your cables are in place. So let's get started. So first things first, we remove the stock bolt from the gear lever using the tools shown earlier. And once that is out, you can now use the, the bolt and the washer given by Race Dynamics itself to plug in the sensor for the quick shifter. And that snaps on to the same place where you remove the stock bolt from the gear lever. Use the 10 size spanner and tighten it accordingly. Alright, so once you are done tightening the bolt, which is the, uh, the sensor for the quick shifter with a good 8 nm of torque, you take the other end of the quick shifter sensor, which you see on the screen right now, and plug it into the other end of the connector, which goes into the Powertronic box. So this quick shifter is only compatible with the Powertronics version 3.0 and not with the older models. Once this is connected, like you just saw, use the zip ties to ensure these cables do not rub against any mechanical or moving uh, components to prevent any future damage. So this is how the quick shifter is installed. As you can see the cable running through one connector from the box. If you see this, this is the quick shifter connector and this cable runs through your rear end of the bike which goes on to the Powertronics version 3.0 box. Alright, so once the quick shifter is installed, let's see how it actually works on the bike. Let's have a look at it from a different angle to see how quick and precise it is.